Hey guys, it's Paul here, and today we're gonna make this triangle geometric wood art. And you know, the whole reason I made this was to use it as a decor piece on our built-in library uh, project. That will be the next video. So there's a sneak peek in the background of what you will see. And but it didn't really match the style we're going for. So I'm gonna put it in maybe one of somewhere around the house on a wall somewhere. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how I made this. All the tools and supplies that I used in this video will be listed in the description box below. I first started off at the table saw. I cut down my 3 4 inch plywood. The base of the triangle was 22 inches and the sides were 11 inches long. I used my circular saw jig to cut down the sides to make the triangle. At this point you have your base plywood that's your canvas and you want to get some wood lathe to use as your decorative geometric design and so you can buy this at your uh, lumber yard or a big box store and so what I did here was I painted half my wood lathe white and then I used medium Danish oil on the other half and that creates kind of a golden brown type look which is what I was going for. And the tool you'll need here is a miter saw. And so all the angles will be cut at 45 degrees. And you can just set your saw at 45 and be very careful on watching where your hands are placed here because some of these wood lathe pieces can be quite small and you wanna be very safe. So next, once you have your wood pieces cut, you want to use wood glue and use brad nailer. Uh, I used 5 8 inch brad nails to hold them in place. 1x2s were used for the framing of this piece and they're a little bit thicker, uh, 0.75 inches and so I planed them down a little bit to give it a thinner profile. So I cut a 45 degree angle here, 45 degree angle here, and then another 45 angle here on the miter saw. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. You know, follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and keep an eye out for next week's video on the built-in library.